I was scared of the original cartoon. I think I watched it once and then I never picked it up again. <laughs> like, I'm being so serious. I watched it once, never revisited Snow White again. So I watched it for the first time in probably 16, 17 years. When I no, Snow White director's son involved. As you can see on this headline, this is on Entertainment Weekly. A son of original Snow White director. This is upcoming remake. There's no respect for what Disney did. He's a thousand percent correct. These people are absolutely disrespectful to the legacy of Walt Disney. He even says, I think Walt and my father would be turning in their graves, uh, David Hale Hand said. Yeah, and you know what woke feminists would be having to say about this. Oh, who cares what this old ass dude says? This is from 85 years ago. This man is clearly a misogynist who hates women. Isn't that how this goes? That's how this always goes with this crap. If you talk... It's gonna come back. There's something called cause and effect. We don't just sit around and say, yeah, we grew up watching this movie called Snow White in all these other countries and all of a sudden you show up and we have to eliminate all the memories of these young girls who grew up wanting to have an experience like that and you're the almighty and this guy that started a company many years before you did who's given you a job. You want to trash that leg? In today's video, we'll delve into the latest drama surrounding Disney's Snow White remake and the unexpected fallout from the trailer. You'll learn how Rachel Zegler's comments about the original movie sparked outrage and how the director is now pointing fingers at the lead actress. The original Snow White director really just blamed Rachel Zegler for the massive backlash over the trailer, which is this Disney's biggest marketing disaster yet. We'll analyze everything, including Zegler's divisive comments, the artistic adjustments that displeased fans, and the behind-the-scenes argument between her and co-star Gal Gadot. We'll also learn why some think the box office for this movie is already doomed. Please click the like button and subscribe to SPO USA to receive the most recent updates on woke Hollywood movie disputes and all the behind the scenes drama. Look at what you're doing there. Yeah. I know. That and, makes no sense to me. But, oh, so what, you what, be, you're progressive in one way and then, but you're still making that backward oh. story. Disney wants to make more woke films that tank at the box office. They are more than welcome to do that, but maybe think of an original idea. Maybe not destroy a classic from my childhood and put an actress in there that not only hates the plot and the storyline of the movie she's in, but also seemingly hates Snow White, the character herself. We grew up watching this movie called Snow White in all these other countries, and all of a sudden you show up, and we have to eliminate all the memories of these young girls who grew up wanting to have an experience like Strong criticism is being leveled at the live-action Snow White remake, and not just from fans. Disney's reimagining of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs has come under heavy criticism from David Hand, the son of the film's original director. Hand 91 branded the adaptation offensive and accused Disney of disdaining both his father's history and Walt Disney himself in what is turning into a Hollywood firestorm. He didn't hold back, denouncing the movie for straying from the core of the original, especially the well-known romance between Snow White and the Prince. Han claims that Disney committed treachery when it decided to eliminate romance in favor of a self-proclaimed independent leader. The actress who plays Snow White, Rachel Zegler, recently made remarks that went viral criticizing the Prince's portrayal in the first movie. This only served to escalate the debate. Ziegler's comments along with Han's public protest have caused a wave of annoyance among Disney devotees. Some fans are calling for a boycott of the movie in advance of its 2024 release, raising concerns about whether this contemporary interpretation of the classic is going too far. While the argument rages on, Han's remarks have fanned the fires of what has turned into a fierce public issue leaving many to worry if Disney is forsaking its beloved past in an effort to appeal to modern trends. It's already one of the most hated movie trailers in history with over 1 million dislikes in less than two weeks. And look, this movie already had a lot of backlash before the trailer even came out, with said photos giving us a look at what seemed to be the seven dwarves in this movie, except they weren't really the seven dwarves anymore, but instead they were called like the seven magical creatures or something like that. They kind of fixed the issue in the trailer by having them look like the classic dwarves from the animated movie, but the problem now is that they're completely CGI'd where they could have just had real actors play these characters instead. The big surprise, though, was when Han attacked the studio for its contentious decision to substitute CGI magical creatures for the adored Seven Dwarves, calling it a mockery of his father's great work. Han stated brusquely, they've gutted it and implied that both Waltz and his father would be rolling in their graves over what he perceived to be the studio's obvious push for a woke agenda. 
Uh, now, both industry insiders and fans are left questioning, has Disney gone too far in, in its effort to update an ageless masterpiece? Or is this just the start of a bigger conflict about what will become of the studio's legacy? Actor Peter Dinklage's criticism of the original film's depiction of dwarfism fueled Disney's decision to replace the seven dwarfs with computer-generated imagery, further fanning the flames. Despite the fact that Dinklage intended for his remarks to start a conversation about representation, the dwarfism community and fans have responded negatively to his remarks. Actor and WWE star Dylan Postle, aka Hornswoggle, quarreled Disney's response to Dinklage's criticism, which eliminated important parts that could have offered much needed representation, instead disadvantaged actors with dwarfism, according to 0542. Fans now wonder if Disney's modernization endeavor is more detrimental than beneficial, further alienating viewers who believe the studio is making an excessive effort to please critics at the expense of remaining faithful to the original picture. I just mean that it's no longer 1937, and we absolutely wrote a Snow White she's that is not going to be yeah, saved by the prince. She's not going to be saved by the prince, and she's not going to be dreaming about true love. She's dreaming about becoming the leader she. Now let's resume our dramatic behavior. After publicly criticizing the first Snow White and calling it eerie and the prince stalkerish, Rachel Zegler has found herself in the middle of a controversy. Disney fans who have loved the classic for decades were incensed by remarks made during the live-action remake's press tour. Ziegler swiftly issued an apology in response to the growing reaction, stating that she never intended to come across as unappreciative of her role as Snow. White, an ideal color for a lot of actors. Many, nevertheless, doubted the sincerity of her apologies given the timing. Critics contend that her PR team is more concerned with damage control than with sincere regret, particularly in light of circulating allegations that Disney is concerned about the movie's box office performance. Fans claim Zegler is trying to save face rather than fully owning up to her remarks, and her abrupt shift in tone after earlier condemning the film has further fueled the flames. Many people perceive her apologies as a last-ditch effort to appease infuriated viewers as opposed to a sincere admission of regret. It was the most incredible experience, and the fan reaction was insane. We didn't even see what they were clapping for. I think it was good, I don't know. The sizzle, we yeah. didn't see anything. Yeah. We're still waiting. You see yourself as the evil queen. You are not evil. <laughs> you are not evil. You're a queen, but you're not evil. What are your thoughts then? Is Rachel Zegler's apology real, or is it only a publicity stunt? And are these imaginative alterations to Snow White a step in the right direction, or an impending catastrophe? Additionally, given the escalating tensions between Zegler and Gadot, Will the film be able to weather this storm or is its box office fate already sealed? Please share your opinions in the comments section below. Do you believe Disney should have adopted the contemporary twists or stayed faithful to the original? And don't forget to subscribe, like, and, and press the notification button.